Hi guys, very good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sai Kiran. Today we are going to discuss about AWS Stories. So initially in Stories we do have three types of stories. The very first one is Block Stories. In today's session we are going to discuss only Block Stories. Okay. And then the second one is file storage. And the third one is object storage. See in block storage again we do have two types. Which is instant storage. And the second one is EBS volumes. Okay. And in file storage, we do have uh, the very first one is AWS uh, EFS, which is mainly used for Linux environment, Elastic File Storage, Elastic File System, sorry. And then we do have AWS EFX, which is for Windows Operating System. And then object storage, we do have two types. The very one is the very first one is well known, which is Simple Storage Service S3, mainly used to store all unstructured data guys apologies for my writing uh, again I'm telling I'm writing on screen not on any slate so please do apologize me <coughs> uh, and the second one is uh, s3 and then we do have archival data which is uh, glacier okay this is archival data guys in s3 like you know this unstructured data if you open www.amazon.com you will be watching a lot of photos and a lot of videos right for the products so uh, all the data will be stored in unstructured data which is s3 bucket okay and then this glacier is something again i told you in the previous session imagine if you take bank and if you want to take the transaction for the last six months or loss one year so what this bank people will do, they will charge you somewhere around 116 rupees and they will give you all the historical data. So this glacier is something which only stores the uh, previous data, which is uh, archival data. Now let's jump on to the block storage part and we'll see the advantages and disadvantages and then we'll move to practical. Block storage. Today is the only session guys on this. First one is instant storage. And the second one is EBS. We'll see what are the advantages and disadvantages. See guys, in instant storage, it's always not a best practice to take such kind of storage because whenever you create a storage, I mean instance, you will be getting a default space of 8 GB or something which will be in slash root. <coughs> Sorry. Imagine if you start and stop the server whatever data you have saved it will be gone or if you rebooted whatever data you will be saved it will be gone completely okay and the size and the type is also fixed in instant storage here size and type both are fixed here in t2 micro t2 nano t2 excel such kind of types will be there right they will be giving you some fixed uh, data and after that if you require then what you have to do you have to create an ebs volume and it's only available with the selected instances types and you cannot like you know imagine if there is a uh, volume here slash root or somewhere you cannot detach this and you cannot attach it to anywhere anywhere in the sense to any other instances but when it comes to the abs volume but when it comes to the abs volume it's called as persistent storage or permanent storage you know why data if you save it and data if you I mean data if you save inside the instance and if you restart and uh, start the instance then still the data will be there and it can be increased up to 16 TB it's not GB guys it's 16 TB it's 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 it comes with two uh, types one is HDD and the another one is SSD HDD is again hard disk drive SSD solid state drive in SSD we do have GP2 GP3 and then we have IOPS 1 and then IOP 2. These are these two will give extreme level performance. Yes. 
if the user is having a database and if and if he, and if if their environment is very huge then it's always a best practice to go with uh, this uh, iops one and iops two but when it comes to the hard disk drive we do have sc1 and then we do have sct and then we do have standard so here what is the another major advantage in uh, ebs volume is imagine guys you have created a volume okay which is uh, gp3 somewhere around 70 gb or something and you have two instances if you want to attach this 70 gb to second instance you can add if you wanted to add for one also you can add but you have to detach and attach it okay that policy is there in uh, uh, ebs volumes but the only disadvantage is what i know uh, from ebs is ebs volumes are availability zone independent if you have two servers in us east 1a and then us east 1b this is second server and this is first server imagine if you have created ebs volume what will happen is you cannot attach it to the 1b if it if it's created in 1a if it's created in 1a you have to only attach it to the 1a only if it's created in 1b you have to attach it to 1b only you cannot attach it to different available region or different region so that is the only disadvantage in ebs uh, volumes guys now uh, what we have to do is we'll quickly uh, jump on to the practicals and we'll see how this behaves exactly we'll create one server first one linux server i'm going to create launch instance and then testing Ubuntu I'll take T2 large and file and then my VPC guys there will be only four or five steps uh, if you do have time please practice it or else you will forget <coughs> public server management and then see this is the default uh, volume i said i mean uh, instant storage now what i'll do i'll take one 4 gb and then one 2 gb and then i'll click on launch instance let's wait till it gets up guys our instance is up let me refresh i'll copy the public ip and then i'll connect to partition Ubuntu at the rate IP. I'll make sure the font is big. SSH authentication and then open. Accept. Sudo swipe in LSBLK. See, we have created one 4GB and one 2GB, right? Now what we'll do is, we'll create two directories, okay? mkdir hyphen p and then I'll create i volume and then I'll create eb volume lsblk Now what we have to do, we have to make sure that we are formatting the disk fdisk xvdb <coughs> I'm sorry, we are not supposed to do like that. We are supposed to give flash dev flash xp and primary and then save. We have to do the same for the xp dc also. This is something like this, guys. Volume name and then new and then primary three partitions. And then ws for save done we have uh, formatted the disk now what we have to do we have to make sure that we are attaching a file system make file system dot ext4 you can take whatever you want guys but i am taking ext4 and then dev and then slash enter done now C1. C1 is nothing but another volume and then enter. It's also done. 
ls plk now what you have to do you have to mount this two partitions partitions to the directory we have we have directories we have created before for that mount slash dev slash i'll add this 4gb to i volume and i'm going to add this c1 to the eb volume xvdc1 xvdc1 please so oh, we haven't mounted oh ib volume i have given okay it's okay no problem we'll give it as ib volume itself only c1 and then space ib volume i volume and then i'm 2gb i'm <coughs> mounting it to ib volume nice now what i'll do is i'm not going to add this ib i'm not going to add this i volume which is 4gb to the fs tab guys and then we'll see how it is behaving but i'll add this ib volume to the fs tab and we'll keep some files in it and we'll see how it is behaving now oh, here slash dev slash xdvc space slash ib volume okay now what i'll do is i'll just copy this come down nano slash etc watch it guys i'm not going i'm not adding at the 4gb a volume to the fs tab but i'll add only 2gb volume to the fs tab ib volume and then let me give the slash here i forgot exe4 and then default discards change it as one now control x and then yes done cat slash etc slash of a stamp okay nice it's there so what you can do now is cd ib volume w get will download some files here terraform.io copy link address paste it download nice cd dot dot come back cd i volume we'll also keep some files here w get paste cd dot dot ls hyphen al slash root slash root slash i volume we do have files slash ib vol okay in both folders we do have files now what we shall do is we'll quickly come back again guys i'm just remembering i didn't add it see i didn't add it this partition i have added only the 2gb uh, volume to the fs tab now we'll go back and we'll restart this server we'll stop and start the instance let's wait till it comes up guys i'll refresh again guys let me refresh and let me change this to running okay this is the server right okay i'll click on it and then it's gonna here Okay, it's connected back. As you do, so do as you can. And then ls hyphen l ls plk. See in ls plk, if you see, our partition will be see here for this 4gb. Previously, we have mounted it to i volume, right? <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. The reason why it is not showing up now because whenever you restart a system or whenever you restart a virtual machine, file system is the very first component which start, guys. and we have not attached it to the file system we have only attached uh, i mean fs tab 
we have only attached this 2 GB volume to the FS tab. So that is why it is still there. See when automatically whenever it gets restarted, it will be coming up along with the FS tab. Now let's go back to our folders. Expected and I, it's I volume nothing was there. Let's come back to and then go to IB volume. It should be there. See the files were there. That's all guys. This is what I wanted to show and explain. So if you have any doubts, please put it in the comment, sec comment section and then please like and share my video if you like it. Tomorrow we are going to meet in another session. So we are going to meet tomorrow. Bye guys. Have a nice day everyone. Happy week.